this class we discuss about importance of power factor improvement consider a general series circuit a circuit consists of resistor and an inductor which are connected in series instantaneous voltage v is equal to vm into sin theta the blue color waveform is a voltage waveform vm into sin theta i is equal to im into sin theta minus pi where pi is the phase difference between voltage and current this is pi red color waveform is a current waveform im into sin theta minus pi power p is equal to v into i that is equal to vm into im into sin theta into sin theta minus pi that is equal to vm into im by 2 into cos pi minus cos 2 theta minus pi we know that sin alpha into sin beta is equal to 1 by 2 cos alpha minus beta minus 1 by 2 cos alpha plus beta therefore active power p is equal to 1 by 2 pi integral 0 to 2 pi p into d theta that is equal to Vm into Im by 2 pi integral 0 to 2 pi 1 by 2 into cos pi minus cos 2 theta minus pi into d theta. P is equal to Vm into Im by 4 pi integral 0 to 2 pi cos pi into d theta minus Vm into Im by 4 pi integral 0 to 2 pi cos 2 theta minus pi into d theta. P is equal to Vm into Im by 4 pi cos pi theta limits 0 to 2 pi minus Vm into Im by 4 pi into 1 by 2 sin 2 theta minus pi limits 0 to 2 pi. Substitute the limits and simplify the equation. We know that maximum voltage is equal to root 2 times Vrms. Root 2 V into root 2 I that is equal to 2 Vi. P is equal to 2 into Vi by 4 pi into cos pi into 2 pi minus 2 into Vi by 8 pi into minus sin pi plus sin pi. This term will become 0. Again, I simplify the equation. P is equal to Vi cos pi. V is the RMS voltage. I is the RMS current. Cos pi is a power factor. Pi is the phase difference between voltage and the current. This is a power waveform, the same waveform O, A, B, C, D, E. I only draw the power waveform. During the interval O, A, the power is negative. That means the power is returned from the circuit to the source. During the interval A, B, the power is positive. That means the power is supplied from the source to load. During the interval BC, the power is negative. That means the power is returned from the circuit to the source. During the interval CD, the power is positive. That means the power is supplied from the source to load. It is observed that during each current or voltage cycle, a part of energy is called active energy is consumed. Other part, reactive energy is interchanged between source and the load. The difference between total positive and total negative areas during a cycle of current or voltage gives the net energy of the circuit. The rate of energy consumption is the active power. Angle power factor. Power factor is nothing but cosine of angle between voltage and current. Cos 0, 1. Cos 10, 0.98. Cos 20, 0.94. Cos 30, 0.87. Cos 40, 0.77 Cos 50, 0.64 Cos 60, 0.5
cos 70.34 cos 80.17 cos 90 0 here cos 0 is equal to 1 that means the voltage and the current are in phase the phase difference is 0 here cos 90 is equal to 0 that is the voltage and current the phase difference is 90 degrees the phase angle is small the value of cos theta is more if the angle between voltage and current the phase angle theta increases power factor decreases the larger phase angle leads to lower power factor power factor varies between 0 to 1 its lower limit is 0 and its upper limit is 1 methods to improve the power factor number 1 parallel capacitors number 2 series capacitors number 3 synchronous motors number 4 phase advancers the capacitors have no moving parts they are popularly known as static capacitors we know that true power is equal to Vi cos theta 1 watt of true power means that electric energy is converted into heat at a rate of 1 joules per second apparent power is equal to V into I 1 volt ampere of apparent power converts less than 1 joules per second how much less depends on how far the voltage and the current are out of phase alternators transformers and circuit breakers are rated in kva or mba because the power factor of the load is not known when the machinery is manufactured in the factory that is the reason they are rated in kva or in mba number one the low power factor is mainly due to the fact that most of the power loads are inductive and therefore taking lagging currents number two single phase and three phase induction motors which have low lagging power factor because they are inductive loads number three all clamps welding machines electric furnaces and discharge lamps operate at low lagging power factor Number 4, the load on the power system is varying, being high in the morning and evening and low at other times. Number 5, during low load period, supply voltage is increased, which increases the magnetizing current, which leads to poor power factor. These are all the causes of low power factor. Disadvantages of low power factor. Number one, we know that real power P is equal to VL IL cos theta for single phase. VL is a line voltage, IL is a line current. For three phase, P is equal to root 3 into VL IL cos theta. Here VL line voltage is constant. IL is equal to P divided by VL cos theta. IL is equal to P divided by root 3 into VL cos theta. It is clear the load current is inversely proportional to the power factor. Power factor is lower, IL is higher. Line current or load current is higher. Number 2, to carry higher current, the size of the conductor will have more cross section which increases the cost of the cable or wire then the system will prove to be uneconomical number three due to high current voltage drop ir and more power loss i square r will occur number four low power factor causes large voltage drop in the transmission and distribution wires or lines 
this will lead to poor voltage regulation of the lines number 5 cos phi is equal to or cos theta is equal to true power divided by apparent power that is equal to kilowatts by kva therefore kva is equal to kilowatts by cos theta rating of the equipments transformers alternators are rated in kva is inversely proportional to power factor so low power factor kva rating of all such equipments will be more for the same load as compared to high power factor this will increase capital cost thus make the system uneconomical these are all the disadvantages of low power factor with this i conclude my lecture thanks for listening